The Buffalo Bills are rolling, but they picked up a number of injuries, including Mika Hyde. Will this derail their dominant performances? This is Dr. David Chow, SIC score, Sports Injury Central, pro football doc here, taking a break from surgery. Mika Hyde's a little bit concerning, but look, Ed Oliver missed the game. Gabriel Davis, we already posted some information on his ankle. Mitch Morris injured his elbow. Matt Milano had a stinger. Jordan Phillips had a hamstring. Dane Jackson, hopefully season is not done, but uh, you know was taken off in an ambulance. But Mika Hyde has some concern for us here. Why? By video, and by the way, shout out to banged up Bills, Kyle Trimble. He helps spot for us, does a great job with Buffalo Bills injuries. The video, as you see here, his head gets snapped back. Yes, it could be a stinger, but there's worry for a disc issue there. The Bills were concerned enough that he, too, was sent to the hospital by the Bills medical staff, not just Dane Jackson. They One went by ambulance, obviously, a different situation, but still they were concerned enough to send him to the hospital. That indicates to me there had to be some neurologic issue. If it's just neck soreness, you wouldn't send him to the hospital. If there's some worry of nerve issue, neurologic issue, and I'm not saying it's spinal cord or anything horrific like that, but they clearly had some concern. In addition, this is the fourth time that Mika Hyde has had a neck issue recently, I believe. None of them have been significant, but what adds to the concern is the report that he's going for a second opinion. Look, all the time, MRIs, scans get sent for second opinions. That's what agents do, that's what teams do, that happens all the time. In my time as an NFL head team physician, routine to send images and consult and get second opinions remotely. More unusual to get in-person second opinions. The fact that Mika Hyde had to travel, apparently, to get a second opinion is of some concern. What could it be? We don't think it's catastrophic. The biggest worry is, is there a herniated disc? And are the Bills and Hyde trying to decide what to do with it? There's a lot of season left, and he wants to be there for a big playoff run in Super Bowl, potentially. The question is, is it better potentially to do something now? Does maybe he have a herni has a herniated disc that's causing some sometimes nerve issues? Is it better off to consider surgery now? One can reliably return to football in three, at most four months from a cervical discectomy infusion. Maybe is that what they are considering? I don't know. But certainly the DEFCON level is raised when you put this fact pattern together of going to the hospital, the type of hit, and going for an in-person second opinion. Let's hope for the best for him. But as my guy Kyle Trimble cite his name, the Bills are banged up right now, even though they're still dominating on the field. Hopefully some of the other guys will be, be back. Ed Oliver will be close. I think Matt Milano plays through. Jordan Phillips is a question mark. Mitch Morris, I think, can try and play through. So, uh, Gabriel Davis is iffy, as we uh, indicated in other previous video. Let's hope for the best for Mika Hyde, and let's have some healthy teams going forward. Go to SIC Score, Sports Injury Central, SICscore.com for updates and information always. Thanks for watching.